All right. You're getting the communication. You're getting the clarity very, very soon. All right. Let's see. Hmm. All right. We're going to see this. Let's clarify. Three of Wands here. That's on the, on the mind. So I feel this person here is trying to keep an open mind here. They're trying to brainstorm a lot. Okay. This person, there's a lot of planning, you know, there's a lot of patience from this person's side, waiting for the right time to come towards you. Okay. But you seem to have emotionally walked away from this person right now. Right. I think in the past year, this person, uh, they were, this person had very shitty communication. All right. Or oh, you know what I'm getting here? You know, you could have come on very clingy, very needy. This person out here likes to keep things very light, very fun, very enthusiastic. All right. You know, it's everything's fun and games for them. The moment you get clingy and needy, the moment you want more from them, right? I mean, this person's incapable of giving you that. So what happens when you push them, right? That's when they run. And that's what happened is what I'm getting here. Okay. This person, like communication is a very big problem for them. That's why you chose to walk away. Now this person is forced to make a decision. You know, they're trying to uh, wait for the outcome. They're trying to wait for something to happen out here, but they're manifesting you is what I'm getting here. This could be a long distance relationship here. Right now, they feel like you are just focusing on you. You're doing you right now. Okay. That's how they see you. And, um, <sighs> What else? Yeah, see, this person feels that something's unfinished between you both, okay? There is unfinished business, business between you guys and, um, you know, the thing is that this person does not want things to come to an end. That's what's happening here. You know, they keep repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. So every time you have a new cycle with them, you feel like, okay, this time it's going to be better. This time it's going to be good. This time things are going to move forward. But it just doesn't because this person keeps, you know, it's like, how do I say this? Um... Like they do the same thing and they expect different results. Could be you, could be them. Take it how it resonates. But right now, I feel this person is trying to see the bigger picture out here. You know, they're preparing, you know, and planning ahead of what they can, expanding, you know, their horizons, whatever, but very optimistic, very confident. All right. They want progress and growth out here. How they want to move forward with you? Ten of swords in reverse. Now, this can go. No, this is. No, that's not it. I, I think this person wants to revive the same cycle with you again. Yeah. And they're coming in to talk to you about it. They want to heal from the pain here. Let's see. What's the Ace of Swords here? What's this communication? What's the Ace of Swords here? There's clarity. You know, Ace of Swords does not always mean communication. This can also be clarity of some sort. What's the Ace of Swords here? What's the Ace of Swords here? <laughs> yeah, see, they don't want to let things go. This person refuses to change. There's a lot of resistance from this person's side. Okay. Very rigid personality that you're dealing with. Very stubborn. Very obstinate. They don't really care about what others think or what or, or how their actions really affect the other person is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Very stubborn out here. They don't want to let you go. What's the death in reverse? Yeah. But then they won't even make a decision. Okay. So, um... So, it's like you probably have cut the bullshit. Okay, you cut their bullshit. This person's returning back. But when this person comes back, right, you're in this mode of resentment. I feel you don't want to entertain them. That's what I'm getting here. I feel you don't want to entertain them. This person's losing patience though, you know. Probably they realize that things have been, you know, on hold for a very long time. They're losing patience. They're not coming in balance towards you. But they're coming back, that's for sure. What's the page of swords in reverse here? Why is this in the past? Why is the page of swords in reverse? Page of wands in reverse, sorry. Why is the page of wands in reverse? Seven of Cups. See, this person either kept you as an option here, uh, they kept their options open, or they were just not choosing you, you know, something like that. What's the Seven of Cups? What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, higher offend. Yeah, so this is all about commitment, eh? So this person here, they refuse to give you that commitment. They refuse to do something traditional, give you something traditional, okay? And they always kept you confused, you know, or this could also be that this person was procrastinating, all right? Maybe they wanted everything with you, but when it comes to commitment, they didn't take action or they was just trying to keep things on hold, procrastinate, and either they felt like they had all the time in the world to keep you on hold, and that's what they did. But guess what? You just walked away. All right, what's the Eight of Cups here in the current situation? Why is the Eight of Cups here? You're finding the emotional strength to walk away from this person here. What's the Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? 
Yeah, C, four of wands in reverse. There's no stability. There's no security, stability, commitment in this connection out here, okay? You don't feel welcome. You don't feel like things are moving forward out here or this person just doesn't seem to take any action to make things more concrete between you guys, all right? Everything's on hold here with the hangman here. It's like on a big pause here. What's the four of wands in reverse? What's the four of wands in reverse here? What's the four of wands in reverse? Can I have the four of wands in reverse, please? Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow, we have an Eight of Cups with the Four of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. You know what that means, right? It means you're walking away. You're finding the strength to walk away because things not working out. And the moment you walk away, right, that's when destiny sends them back in, okay? That's when the universe sends them back in here. This person, I feel they refuse to give up here. You know, this is someone who's got a very strong willpower here. But you know what? The problem is this person comes back towards you, but they come back very guarded. So it's like, yeah, I love you, I want you, but then you know what? Stay at a distance, like stay away from me. Like, what? <laughs> All right, what's the three of wands here? This is what's on their mind. Like I said, very optimistic, very positive. They'll, things may work out between you guys one day. But yeah, what's the three of wands here? Yeah, say two of pentacles. They're trying to balance the situation out here. They're trying to, you know... I think this person here is trying to, you know, juggle a decision here, all right? While waiting for you, they're trying to make their mind or they're just trying to balance out the situation here, all right? They want to make things right. Probably earlier, they didn't have the time for you, okay? But this person has a lot of responsibilities is also what I'm getting here, okay? But this person could be using like this real strong time management and prioritization skills, okay? To get their goals with you or whatever it is, all right? But they're, they're multitasking. But I think this person's here in two minds, okay? Um... Let's see, what's the two of pentacles here? I think this person's trying to, you know, adapt to the changes here, to the relationship, all right? Uh, what's the two of pentacles here? Five of pentacles in reverse, yeah. They're, they're, that's a very codependent energy. They want a brand new beginning with you, all right? Something more committed, something more stable, solid after you walked away. But, uh, you know what I'm getting? I, 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 this person didn't expect you to walk away. You know, they thought they could keep you on hold forever and you were like out there for them. You know, you'll just be there for them, you know, no matter what happens. But what's happening here is this person's coming back. They're feeling very lonely, very isolated here. They don't feel good enough. And uh, they realize that you were the one for them. You were always there for them. And now they realize that what they've lost, okay? You always value what you've lost, right? Once it's gone. But you're very focused on yourself. What's the Eight of Pentacles here? That's how they view you. Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles, please? What are you working on? What are you working on, Leo? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You realize this is something that's just not meant for you. And... um yeah i think you're coming out of isolation if you've just completely isolated yourself you're just getting ready to get back to the world here isolating you know you're done isolating yourself you got the knowledge that you have that you need you got the clarity out here you're being more optimistic but you're moving forward here okay you're just no longer waiting for this person you're moving in the other direction okay but in a more positive direction what's the wheel of fortune here what's the wheel of fortune here Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're turning your back. See, once this person is now wanting to put in the effort and trying to wait for you, trying to manifest you, trying to make a decision, which they probably have made a decision of wanting to invest into you and wanting to take things forward here. A lot of planning, organizing going on. Whilst you, on the other hand, are, you know what, like, dude, I can't do this anymore here, you know. You probably feel you made a mistake and that was a bad decision to wait for this person, etc., whatever it was. But um, you're just turning your back to them, okay? Because things are just, you're not being able to, Wait for this person and, you know, complete what you were supposed to with them, okay? Because there's no progress here. There's no growth here. It's frustrating you, you know? And um, you probably even feel it's like a failed long-distance relationship, all right? You're very disappointed with the choices that you made with this person. The world in reverse here is how they feel deep down. What's the world in reverse here? The high priestess, okay? So this person is in love with you, all right? But I feel this person here is choosing to keep... Um, to keep things to themselves. That's what I'm getting here. This person is choosing to keep the entire secret to themselves. I mean, they know that uh, you guys have had an ending here. But the problem here is that this person here is um, staying 
at home in their comfort zones is what i'm getting here they feel isolated they feel incomplete you know but the thing is that they don't want to even step out of their comfort zone is what i'm getting here okay but they're repeating the same patterns like i said all right which is why things are not completing you're not being able to move to the next chapter with them but the high priestess here this person is trusting their intuition all right they know what more than they say so even if they're giving you the silent treatment even if they're keeping quiet they know you're the one for them deep down they want to take that leap of faith with you what's the high priestess here what's the high priestess see they're, they're they're trying to balance the situation out and um knight of swords in reverse but they won't make a move they won't make a move this person is very very um this person wants to take a you know come back around here they do want to they do but i feel here that they're holding back i'm missing opportunities here because they don't feel they're ready to talk they want to take their time off okay this person needs their time off here and they're not ready to talk they're not ready to confront the issue right now which is why they're holding back okay but that's a lot of missed opportunities here you know that their, their approach is a little too aggressive and reckless is also what i'd say they don't act without before thinking i mean right now they are thinking before acting Ten of Swords in Reverse. That's how they want to move forward with you. What's the Ten of Swords in Reverse? Hmm. This person wants a brand new beginning with you. But the problem here is that they um, want to take action. Like I said, right? Ace of Wands in Reverse. This is someone here, you know, who's probably, you know, that, you know, they're, they're struggling to accept the truth about the situation of the relationship. All right. And uh, they're not being able to, um, you, know, the, the, you know, how it's like you keep living and, you know, dwelling in your painful memories. You keep magnifying the bad luck in the relationship, you know, etc. You know, so you're like, they're just hosting their own pity party is what I'm getting here, which is why they're not being able to take action towards you. And they want a new beginning with you. They do. But it's going to take a lot of strength for them to come towards you. Okay. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse here? What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Six of... See? See? That's what I'm saying, right? Six of Pentacles here. This person wants this equal give and take with you. They realize something was not balanced out here. They realize they didn't give you the attention, the love that you deserve out here. And they want to make it happen. All right. They want that peace, harmony, you know, invest into you correctly which they haven't all this while, which is why it was a one-sided situation. But you know, you got to have that enthusiasm, that passion, that willingness, you know, like that determination, like that badass feeling, like, yeah, you know what? I want this. I want to make it happen. But I think the past experiences are stopping them from making that move, you know? That's what I'm getting. All right, Six of Wands is going on behind the scenes. What's the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? I love this, the wild unknown tarot. It's so pretty. So pretty. What's the six of wands here? Why is this behind the scenes? Why is this what's going on behind the scenes? Seven of swords. They're coming back. They're coming back. What's the seven of swords here? What's the seven of swords? But you know what? Expect them to leave again. What's the seven of swords? Hmm. They're coming back. They want to take action towards you, okay? This person is very, very passionate about you. They want to make things... They want to do things um, more than do things the right way. I think they want, they're ready to take action. That's what they want to do. But this is all behind the scenes, okay? This is what you don't see coming. They're very enthusiastic, very passionate about you. You know, this is like that masculine energy, okay? Like they get up and get things done. But they're strategizing, okay? They're strategizing. They don't want to just come in and... They don't want anything to fail between you both. They want a success and they're hell-bent on having things successful with you. Okay, so they're very determined, very determined to make it happen with you. So let's see, the tower here is your advice. Wow, what's the tower here? Why is the tower here as advice? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to take a drastic approach this time. There's like this reality, okay? There's like this truth that you need to realize. All right, there's something that you need to understand and probably you've been living in your illusions all this while and you probably haven't realized that something isn't, uh, you know, like, um, how do I say this? You need to accept the truth, bro, that there are issues in this relationship, all right, and you need to decide to place some distance between you both, all right, so that you both can see uh, the things, okay, that can be resolved out here and how you're going to do this is by focusing on yourself, okay, focusing on your uh, financial independence putting all the energy putting all the um, 
focusing on yourself. Again, I said that. Self-priority. Okay, prioritize yourself. Stand up for yourself. All right. This is a battle that you're not going to win. So, you know, just don't be like win at any cost kind of thing. All right. Don't be in your ego, but more like protect yourself. Okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, because the thing is that uh, probably this is going to be something which is going to be a disappointment for you, okay? You've probably invested a lot in the past year and you've been doing this over and over and over again only to realize that things are just not working out your way, all right? So probably it's going to be a waste of time. So for right now, I always remember, this is for the moment, 19th to the 25th. When this person comes back, try not to invest into them because it's going to probably be disappointing. So just keep to yourself, all right? Mind your own business. Son of Wands here. The Knight of Wands here is coming in. All right, to talk to you. Knight of Wands. I don't really like them. Well, yeah, very passionate energy. But yeah, in and out. They don't know what they want. They run from commitment. You know, they're passionate about you, but they're not ready to take things to the next level. So what I see is from the past with the Page of Wands here to the Knight of Wands. That's the kind of progress they've made from the page. At least they're getting to a fucking night. All right, big. What's the Knight of Wands here? Is the outcome? Lovers in reverse. There's still a lack of coming back together out here. Still a lack of coming back together here. There's still the separation here, even though they come in. What's the lovers in reverse here? What's the lovers in reverse? Okay. So many cards. Not going to take all of them. What's the lovers in reverse? Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're cutting their head the fuck off. You're closed off, all right? You don't want to entertain them. But um, you know what happens is, um, you know, the Queen of Swords in reverse, right? She When she's in the upright, right? She's just really awesome, really badass. Like she can, you know, she can, she can literally put her words across, okay? She can really communicate what she wants, what she doesn't want, okay? She lives life in, on her own terms. When she's in the reverse, right? This is someone here, you know, who's just trying to manipulate everyone. Okay, so you're trying to manipulate this person, trying to control this person is what I'm getting here. Okay, being emotionless, being distant. Okay, but, um, you know, you're not opening up to them because of their emotional vulnerabilities. Okay, you're that, that fear of betrayal and emotional pain. You're not opening up to them. So even when they come in, in short, I get you don't trust them. Well, you shouldn't. That is the Knight of Wands here. That's not someone who's trustworthy here. Unless you want to go on a date or have some fun. But you seem, I mean, you clearly mean business out here, all right? So they're coming back. But the way they're coming back is that in and out here. And I probably, you know, you're more like, you know what? I've seen that before. And I'm not going to get into this temptation before. Which is why there's still like a lack of coming back together. Okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.